this is Sophie Heller, and this is an SAT algebra question. This question looks a little bit confusing because we're dealing with three variables, but if you go simply and step by step, it's going to be pretty easy. So we want to find the value of b, and we have these two equations with a's and b's and c's. The good thing to remember, though, is that we see the same terms in both equations. So we see 4a, c, and 2b in the first equation and the second equation. So since we want to find the value of b, let's try to find a way to see if we can get rid of a or c or both a and c. So what I did here is I saw, well, I have 4a here, and I also have 4a here, and they're both on the first side of the equation. So it would be really easy to substitute uh, my solution for 4a from here into here. So first off, let's move the c over and make it a little bit easier. So we have 4a equals 2b minus c. And so I'm going to take that entire thing that we found was 4a, I'm going to plug it into the second equation. So where we have 4a, we can put 2b minus c, because that's our whole term for 4a, plus 2b plus c equals 36. And this worked out great because we cancel out our a by sub substituting it with 2b minus c, but we can also cancel out c, since we have minus c here and plus c over here. So now we're just left with b's and we can really easily solve the problem. So we have 4b equals 36, divide both sides by 4, b equals 9. And it's right here. So I know it's tempting to choose this e, and I hate to speak in absolutes, but at least 95% of the time, this cannot be determined, will never be the answer, because the SAT wants you to, deter to determine things that you, that you really can. It just doesn't make sense. So we solve for 9, so b is our answer.